I'm Anil Kumar. We'll explore patterns in this particular video. The question here is, eight teams are in the quarterfinals of a football league. They should play each team twice to decide about their standings. How many games will be played? Now, in general, when you have a pattern, it's good to start with some uh, diagrams, right? So eight teams, let's start with one team. If there is one team, how many games will be played? Well, none, right? So to record this, we can make a table of values, right? So let us say we have number of teams here, right? We have number of teams and we have number of games. So if we have just one team, then there cannot be any game between it. So just zero. But if there are two teams, in that case, how many games are they playing? Twice, two times. So they play two games. So that is how we can show two games. So if there are two teams, number of games will be two. How about another team joining them? So if I have another team here joining them, now this team will play two games with the first team and two games with the second team. So that means four more games. So I'll add four to the existing two games to get the new number, right? So to get the new number. So we are kind of finding a pattern, right? So four plus two is six. How about four teams? So if another team is there, let's say this is another team joining in, then it will play two games. So that is two. And this is four more. And then this is Two with that also six more right so so we have six more games and that gives us six plus six as 12 so six plus six is 12 how about the fifth team so if there is a fifth team then that team is going to play two games with these four teams right two games each right that means eight so we'll add eight I mean eight so this pattern continues do you see that so 8 plus 12 is 20. Do you see that? Now from here, can we get some pattern? From here, can we get some pattern? Well, 20. 5 times 4 is 20. 12. 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 2 is 6. 2 times 1 is 2. So we do get a pattern. Do you see that? So the pattern here is, we can get this number 20 by multiplying 5 and 4. 5 times 4 is 20. As far as this 12 is concerned, 4 times 3 is 12. And how about 3 times 2? 3 times 2 is 6. We get that number. So we do see a pattern. And in this case, 2 times 1 is indeed 2. So if I follow this pattern, then how many games will be played when there are 6 teams? Well, it should be 6 times 5, 1 less, right? 6 times 5 is 30. So I should get 30 here. But if I follow this rule, then do I get 30? Yes, I do. So we are adding by 4 more each time, right? So here, I mean, 2 more each time. So it will be plus 10. So 20 plus 10 is 30. Similarly, for 7, we should have 7 times 6, 42. And for 8, so this is 42, and for 8, it should be 8 times 7, 56 games in all, right? So we should get 56. Now, as an exercise, what you can do is you can add and then figure out if it really works. So here you should add 12, and then you should add 14. Do you get this number? So you should check this on your own. But on the other side, I'll give you the pattern rule. What is the pattern rule for this particular twice playing games? So here, the number of games between n teams is n times n minus 1. Do you see that? n times n minus 1. So if there are 10 teams, then it'll be 10 times 9 will give you 90. Do you see that? 
So that is how very quickly you can find the number of games being played amongst teams when two games are played by each team, right? So this is kind of different from what we did earlier. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope you're enjoying it. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.